Hello everybody, welcome back for some more God of War Ascension. Um, yeah, what a great way to start the video, right? It's filled with ums, uhs, and don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but... Yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly what we need to do here, so... Bear with me for a bit. I think that if I... Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm curious as to if... This statue has any relevance eventually. I don't know. So, well, I can't get up there because. What the fuck was that noise? Oh. Oh, shit. Hang on. <laughs> Let me turn off my um, speakers there for a second. I forgot that because I'm trying to edit things on Elgato now, I have to be careful. Can we break this at all? What the fuck is the point? What do I. Hold on. I do with it. Hmm. Do I have to break it now? Well, that tells me everything I need to know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. Duh. So stupid sometimes. You know, I'm so dumb sometimes. There we go. And the game just makes me fall. And I can't get back up there. Okay, there. No Icarus rings, wings, so I can't fly to that shit, but... Thank God we made it up here, because that would have pissed me off if I missed this entire treasure trove of crap. And it looks like right now we're doing pretty good on upgrades. So... In terms of, like, health and magic upgrades, I mean... Uh, I don't know, maybe we got... We might have, like, two to three, like... One to two more health upgrades. I want to say two. I want to say two, but I'm not certain. I am not certain of that. Looks like this entire area was just basically just chest area, which is fine, because I'd rather have that than not. Don't know why the game decided to tell us to go here first, though. Not sure why. Maybe they wanted you to get the chest before you head out, I guess. Maybe. That'd be my guess. They're probably like, oh yeah, don't forget, there's like some chests this way, go do it. And maybe they're trying to like teach you before you actually have to do this part. Possibly. Oh. Mm. Might be a thing. Did that thing just reset? Mm hmm. Sure did. Like, I didn't die or anything, so I don't know why it would just fucking outright reset, but okay. So now it's time to figure out this puzzle, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't remember how to fucking do the damn thing at all. But what annoys the shit out of me the most is like, so... Is that gonna work at all? That thing cannot get that far in. It can't get that far in. Hmm. So if I do this, like, yeah, if I do this, the button's just not gonna move, right? Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, hold on. Let me try this again. So... I'll keep it on the button, right? We'll freeze time. Or whatever the hell we do. Like, I can't push it in there, so I don't know. If that's what you're supposed to do or not. And the issue, though, the real issue is the fact that this thing will come to... Oh, you fucking kidding me. You just can't roll. You, you just can't roll through it, I guess? So what's the point of the statue, then? Am I really that dumb and confused? I mean, we still got in here, so I guess... I don't know, but I still feel dumb for not actually figuring it out. Right? Because, like... That doesn't feel like I figured it out much. It just feels like I just... Got through it. Just by pure... Uh... Guessing. Because, <laughs> like, what's it supposed to normally do? Like, I get, like, you push on the button. I don't know. I, I don't care. We'll take it with us just in the off chance that maybe I might need it. Nah, f fuck that. Right, it's too late now. Yeah, we can't bring it with us anyway, so who cares? Who gives a shit? So what's this gonna take me to? Is it gonna kill me? Like, if I jump down there, will I die? No? Yeah, see how much shit I actually remember in this game at all? I mean, there's certain areas and certain parts that I do remember quite clearly, but... 
Man, it's just some things, you know, I just happen to forget. It just kind of happens. When you get old, apparently. Or just don't play games or these games very often. But yeah, even though we've gotten, at this point, all of the weapons that you can get in the entire game, technically, we're still not really, I wouldn't even say, mm, I don't know if I'd say we're halfway. I don't know if I would say we're halfway. I think we're like a, a good portion of the way through, but yeah, we're definitely not like halfway. <laughs> I don't think so. So basically, the Hades blades, the Hades magic, yes, it's the Hades magic. This is the one I didn't want to spoil. Uh, pretty much makes it to where, like, you know, souls come out. That's actually a really good attack right there, by the way. Pretty fine attack. And, of course, the full square variant sends out, like, a ton of, you know, ton of souls. And then let's try the triangle. Never mind. Let's not. Well, the normal triangle version, like the square square triangle version, at the very least, you know, makes it to where... A uh, giant arm comes out from the ground and slams. So think Nico Robin, I guess you could say. And yeah, it's it's a pretty damn good, like, Hades thing. Like, I've been to this before in the past. I wasn't really, like, a big fan of the claws of Hades from God of War 3. Yes, I know. I'm pathetic. I get it. But I do think that the Hades element is really useful, especially in this game. So, I'd say that for sure. It was more or less that I didn't like the claws, and just I just didn't understand exactly how you're supposed to properly use them. Because I've always been kind of more like a Blades guy and Cestus guy from, like, 3. Because I feel like the Cestus works wonders in 3. Like, too good sometimes. Now, in terms of what they give me out of getting kills, like, when you get those upgrades for it, I don't remember... I want to say it's red orbs, but I can look. I think it's red orbs. It's kind of red orbs. We can get like more, maybe. I mean, we can go find out like right now. I just, <laughs> I'm just wasting time not looking. So let's see. So blades just gives you just normal shit, nothing exactly. Of course, fire gives you, you know, gold orbs. It was blue. It was ice that gives you fucking red orbs. Wait, I don't want to upgrade ice just yet. Why is it five upgrades? Oh, because you have to unlock the rage attack. Oh, I gotcha. Immovable blast. So yeah, you have to actually pay to unlock these fucking things. How wonderful! Always a blast. But now we got them, so we should maybe have magic versions for them too. Some of the ice of Poseidon to break blocks. Also allows breathing underwater. There you go, nice. Electrify enemies with the... With the Blinding quick attacks to zoos. Electrocuting enemies yields blue orbs. This one's green orbs. Okay, release the souls of the underworld to do your bidding. Vaporizing enemies to yields green orbs. Yes, there's still things you can get, but you technically have... In all honesty, you pretty much have, like, the main weapons. The rest are pretty much just... Items. You know, like, bow, Apollo. And that kind of shit. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? So yeah, I guess Hades gives you green orbs. I, for some reason, I kept thinking that ice would... Because it always made more sense to me, because, like, you know, water, ice, and how sometimes, like, water is seen as, like, the healing element, you know? Which, I mean, to be fair, I completely 100% understand that aspect. And yeah, these guys are dicks because they'll do this thing where they explode themselves, and you can't attack them while they're an explosive... You gotta wait for them to calm down before you can actually even do an attack on them. It's kind of dumb as shit, but... These AoE slam things you, um, can be blocked. Which is very nice. Oh, I guess we haven't unlocked magic yet. We just have the L3 and R3 thing for them. Now, when they do like that rage thing, I believe you can actually use the L3, R3 attack even while they're in, like, the rage state. Should be able to. Okay. Although, I'm... It's kind of hard to... 
you know, get that to kind of come out. So, there's that. These guys had the same death like they normally do, like in all the other... Like in God of War 3 specifically. But yeah, there you go. That's how you calm that down. Is he not going to do another hit? Yeah, you get stunned once and then you get fucking knocked right on your ass. Ugh. Dude, come on. It's fucking bullshit. I, I just don't like the whole waiting on them to do their thing, you know? Waiting on their, uh, their rage to wear off. Now, whether or not you can actually parry this, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I'm not gonna really bother trying. Well, yeah, I know what it does. I just need to remember to push it wherever it needs to be pushed. And that would be up my asshole. Okay. Great. Great working with you. Yeah, let's try the... We'll, we'll keep using the ice blades for a little bit to kind of get an idea of what they do for L3 and R3, and then we'll switch to lightning and try that one too. So I can show that off. Because, I mean, like, what's a Let's Play without being able to show off the majority of what you can do, right? Just saying. Makes sense. What's over here anyway? Hmm. I see. I'm guessing we're gonna have to break that fucking door down, aren't we? I guess we're just gonna have to break that door down, aren't we? Well, there's gotta be a way to do so. Ah, oh, this one's locked too. Actually, I think we come from there eventually. I think we have to come back to this. See, I can't do it yet, I don't believe. So, we gotta wait. We gotta wait a few minutes before the game allows me to. Look at this shit. There's so much, like, just lore shit they want to throw at you all of a sudden for, like, their last hoorah. It's, it's crazy. Pit of spikes. What's new? What's new Scooby-Doo? We're coming after you. Oh, yes. Should probably do this. There we go. Alright, and now we gotta run across. This is a pretty cool section. Honestly, I feel like God of War Ascension has some really good, decent platforming sections, surprisingly. I don't know how much people might not like God of War Ascension. I, I, for a while, I really didn't, honestly. But it's it's grown on me quite a lot. Not gonna lie, it really has. All right, now we should be able to come back because I don't see why we wouldn't be able to do this. Also, I would not recommend touching the spikes, just in case you might get killed. You might just get killed. You know how spikes in games are. You know, Mega Man. Look, I was never very book smart, but I was very money smart. Alright, yeah, so we got like one more upgrade to go and then we're done with all that. Cool. Kind of crazy, like, I, I don't think we are halfway through. I mean, the game's not that long. But I do remember it being, like, definitely longer than, like, Ghost of Sparta. Oh, okay, well. I think this is one of those ones you gotta wait for. Possibly. I wish this fucking game would load faster, man. I wish it would load faster. I get it. It's PS3. I get it. I know. I understand that. But for fuck, stay. Oh, okay. Just spawn harpies, I guess. I'm gonna go in here, okay? Because I don't want to fuck with y'all. I don't know if they can follow me, though. I wish... They probably can. I don't know. Find a way in, somehow. Well, I mean, worse come to worse. Just head the fuck back out. Beat their ass that way. Well, I guess not. Okay, yeah. Why not? We'll just stay in this room and beat these guys up real quick. So these are the actual real variants of the Harpies. And... Only problem, it seems, is that... 
Yeah. I don't think I got the orbs for them because I think they got locked out and they can't come back. I'm getting so fucking tired of this stupid, dumb bullshit, these guys. Whoa! Just made in that room pretty fast, huh? Oh yeah, well I don't have the upgrade for Hades. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try the L1 square version of that, but I don't have it. The whole square version doesn't really change much between blades, though, to be honest. Between elements, more so. You know, you'd think by now I'd probably have fucking the rage thing activated, but I guess apparently not. There, finally. Now let's show it off. Boom! Freezes their ass. And then you can break them. Oh, now you can do it, yeah. Just takes a bit of time. Speaking of breaking, there you go. Oh, I thought somebody texted me for a second. Alright, so next up would of course be Zeus. And, yeah. I think if you switch elements on the spot, I don't believe it takes away your rage thing. I don't believe so. We got full shit. We're fine. We don't need this bullshit. We're fine. We don't really need to heal that bad. God damn it. I kind of want to play... I want to play... Chains of Olympus again, honestly. Would you fucking stop making shit fall in front of me? Like, while I'm rolling into it, game? That'd be nice. Oh. Sometimes you don't know if it's an open... You don't... I don't know if it's ever, like, a openable door or not. Oh, Wraith. And it's the Hades ones. Oh, my God. They just fucking hate me today, don't they? Yeah, good luck getting, like, the full rage thing here because these guys are not going to let that happen. At best, I have a better idea. Fuck this bullshit. I am not putting up with, like, four different cowards. The entire time, I don't think so. Oh yeah, that, that, that's L1 circle, by the way. Yeah, I think with these, I think you grab them and you throw them, don't you? Oh no, they spawn magic. Yeah, they they fucking are. They, they're telling me straight up, like, yeah, just just blast them, dude. You're, you're better off just using magic. You ain't getting away with this crap. And then here's the lightning variant for the rage. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I mean, I think you might be invincible during it, I don't know. Also, that guy that's in the ground, can you please get the fuck out of the fucking ground? Come back up here and actually fight me like a real man. Fight me like the real monster you is. And now they're both gonna puss out and hide. Oh, of course. I'm guessing Perry, the platypus. No, wait. I forgot that L1 Circle got switched out for R1. <laughs> I forgot they changed that in this game. To be fair. He's dead. And... Let me guess, you're gonna spawn another fucking douchebag eventually? Right? No? Okay. What is, um... No, we don't have Rage Mode for Hades yet. That's right. Well, that's fine. We can do that still. I mean, you know, still hit him a few times. It's all right. It's the least I could do. Oh, okay. If this was God War 3, there'd be like five more of those fucking things. All right. So, basically, we need a thing. Oh. No, I think we're fine. Okay. Although, I believe that for this... We're going to have to basically freeze time in order to gain access to breaking that door. Of course. Anything over here? No, probably not. Well, here we go. Yeah, we got to figure out this puzzle, huh? Oh, ouch. Well, there's some chest over there. I should probably go do that. Well... Uh, this is the way we gotta go, and I kinda wanna go see what's over here first. Oh, come on, in the middle of the fucking recording, too. 
Like every every fucking record. Well, I guess that goes to show like how long I've been playing today. There you go. Fine, I'll charge the stupid fucking controller. At least it's not like a PS5 controller where that that damn thing would just fucking turn off. You know, as soon as you plug in the charger, or as soon as like it, you know, you just. I don't know. Like when you unplug a charger. Yeah, because it, it does that. Like, it'll, it'll actually, like, just turn off the whole fucking thing if you unplug a charger. It's fucking annoying. But I could have sworn that they updated the controller. I could have sworn that was a thing. Like, they updated the controller to make it to where, you know, it couldn't do that, I guess. But I think I'm wrong. Let me see something here. Is there something, like, I can knock down there so I can, I don't know, stop this bullshit from... Wait, what? Oh. I didn't see that. Oops. Oh, well. My bad. Um, is there no statue around here at all that I can use? Nothing? Could I theoretically... Freeze time, and then press this button, and then, it, does that work? No. Wait, actually, I think, I'm being dumb, I'm being dumb. I don't think there's any reason for the time stop thing at all here, or the time, whatever. Yeah, because that knocks that down. Which now basically opens that up. And then we got more of this crap to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to make sure that these things are stuck in place. Oop. Honestly, I prefer, like, the finisher of just the regular fire blades. What's this do? It's a locked door. Because of course it is. And then I'm guessing... Sorry, my nose is like getting stuffed up all of a sudden. Oh, okay. It's not a locked door anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I remember now. I remember now. I remember now. I know what we gotta do. And then I guess this is just gonna be a locked door unless we use the... Uh, the time manipulation thing to get it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go break open that door first. Actually, before we do that, I want this chest. Maybe another one on the other side? Yes, thank you. I love... This is the type of thing I'm talking about when it comes to, like, those... Well, I don't talk about it in these videos, but just something I talk about sometimes is... Like in games, you get that dopamine hit, you know? This is definitely one of those. Just opening chest and got a worse fucking feels great every time. And these motherfuckers have to show up, of course. Of course they have to show up. I know it. Yeah, that was like a mid-combo thing, I think. Get the fuck off me, you bastard. Yeah, those are the real harpies now. Oh yeah, there's a sprint button. I should probably explain that, shouldn't I? Oh, too late. I mean, at least you witnessed it now, I guess. So not like it didn't happen. It's just I kind of forgot it was a thing, to be honest with you. Look, when I play God of War, I don't think sprint until I th get to... Yeah, here's L3 square, here's L3 triangle, here's L3 circle, here's L3x. Nothing. <laughs> but yeah, whenever I play God of War, I don't think of sprinting, okay? Like, that's just not a thing that I think of. And look, I get it. You know, I totally get it. God of War 4 and Ragnarok have it. God of War 4 and 5 have it. I get it. And I agree with you. And that's true. They do have it. But the, here's the thing, though. These are the older God of Wars. I don't think about that shit. An older God of War. I don't think about that shit, okay? I just don't, okay? And if you want to free ride up, just take this thing. Just don't jump off it and you'll be alright. Give it a few secs. A few seconds. There we go. Cool. Now, I don't think there's anything we could use the statue thing on up here. Like, I don't 
remember if there's any secret compartment we can jump up to. I don't believe so. Did that guy just look at me? There is a fucking secret part. God damn it, of course there is. Make a liar out of me, alright? Okay. One out of five. Good. One out of five Phoenix Feathers approve. Jump down, you ass. Ass clown. Oh yeah, that's right. Push that down there. And now I think we can push it over here. Maybe. Okay, we gotta push it this way, I guess. Okay, we gotta go loop de loop around. Now we can finally have access to that left side. Thank goodness, because that was gonna get on my nerves. But oh no, we fucked up the game now. The game's all fucked up. We can't do this part now. Because it's all fucked up. Cool. I love Thea. I love Thea. So, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think what we do is. Uh. Yeah, we gotta, like, basically platform our way up. And then, yeah, fuck with this thing here. Hello? Hold on. There we go. Break this. And that should, of course, cause the button to stay. And there we go. Puzzle solved. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That didn't take too long to figure out. Why'd my voice crack? <laughs> that didn't take too long to figure out. Alright, cool. And now it's this asshole. This guy's got like a fucking boner for like people in bronze or some shit. Like Jesus. Although you must have good reason to seek the oracle carrying such a mark. Return when you have brought appropriate sacrifice. I have come to see the oracle. That is what I intend. That's right. You don't talk to Kratos that way, you bitch. What are these fucking cunts gonna do? <laughs> we have to find a slave trader. And yep, here we go. Basically, uh, Ash from Evil Dead looking ass, Bruce Campbell looking ass motherfucker here. The vibes I get from him. This is, this is the fight I was talking about that I would say is my least favorite. I I, I think this fight's just fucking obnoxious. Oh okay. I forgot we had to do that, and I died. That's okay. That's fine. Who cares? All right. Thanks, game. <laughs> Not like it matters, cause like you die and go to war, you know, whatever, right? Start over. It's just a video game. It's just a video game, bro. That's all. Alright. Please don't make any more fucking stupid shit fall. Like, unreasonable amounts of stupid shit fall. Like, right in front of me. That crap's annoying. Well, it's a good thing that at least Kratos' normal running speed is relatively fast enough to get through these parts. Because, man, if it wasn't for that, we'd be fucked. Yeah, now my PS3 is like just having issues again. Well, not that bad, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Jump, jump. Oh, fuck. Well, why can't it just be fucking X? Oh, it can sometimes disarm. Yeah, that was something else I also forgot to mention, mention is you can actually disarm enemies. If you hit them hard enough, or... Oh, 
my god. Are you serious? I have died to the same spot multiple times because I'm just not fucking paying attention at all. Literally, this is a this is how you don't play. Not <laughs> more tension on my ass. I'm waiting for the day to actually see that happen. I don't think it ever. Well, I hope it never will. But it'll be both funny and both like just the worst thing ever. But I don't think I would be able to catch on enough for people to make a this is how you don't play of. I don't think I have that much of a, of a following enough <laughs> to actually have that. You never know. What happened? God damn it. I keep, like, just not paying any attention at all. Alright, so. Yeah, this time it's square, right? Nope, I'm gonna change it on me again, huh? Too bad I'm too fucking smart for that crap. All right, here we go. Now we can actually fight him for real, dude. so many fucking times because you fight this guy like so much fucking times if you're well of course you fight him a lot if you keep dying like I do thank god he's stupid so that kind of helps out big time though yeah, he'll slam the ground then he'll just yeah make things do that ow kind of hurt dick so, I believe that cannot be parried nor uh, blocked, I think. I'm pretty sure you can't block those. You can't block that, okay. That sucks, but oh well, that's fine. We got other things we can do to beat his ass with, so. Like that right there, for example, probably could be parried, and I'm just not doing it. You know, there's one good thing about these prequel games, though, that people might kind of overlook. You don't gotta fucking fight Zeus. A guy that's basically just a complete dickhead when it comes to, you know, gotta wear final boss sections. Okay, there we go. I am so sorry. I, I, you know, I'm usually not this fucking terrible, but I guess because I've recorded four episodes in a row, maybe I'm just starting to lose my lose my mind here. Kind of funny how the game just... Okay. Yeah, uh... I hate this fucking boss. <laughs> I hate it so much. Oh, there was something cool I saw that I forgot to mention. I saw, uh... Nero's sword. Like a replica sword in real life. Recently. I forgot to tell my brother about that, but yeah. The Red Queen. It was so fucking cool. I don't remember how... I think it was like a couple hundred bucks. Something like that. I mean, it's just like a replica sword as far as I'm aware, so. I would love to have that. It'd be kind of cool if you could, like, turn, like, crank the handle and shit. I don't know if you could, but that'd be so fucking sick. <laughs> what a dipshit. Just let me hit him with these rocks. What a fucking maroon. Yeah, you fucking pussy and your time stop bullshit. Get fucked. Coward. Loser. Dick ass. Cut, bitch. Pussy. Pussy. I'll tickle your pussy. We're doing pretty alright. He's. You know, not being too stubborn. Again, most of my hatred does kind of stem from the obvious, like. Again, tight mode bullshit, because, yeah. You go play tight mode, and then you tell me. <laughs> God damn it. That was probably not a good idea. Oh, I mean, it worked, I guess. Like, why are we not getting any combo hits? Why is that not just connecting at all? Or was it? I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. Whoa. Let's try it, buddy. 
Keep at it. You'll get me eventually. Okay, now I'm starting to kind of question how the fuck did I fuck this guy up that bad? Like, I don't even think he's really that bad to fight anymore. Like, God, I must have sucked a lot of dick. And like I always say, not the good kind. Oh, come on, that's cheap. You get a stupid fucking grab attack? That's not fair, dude. Come on. You know God of War grabs are just not fucking fair. It's literally practically cheating at that point. Oh my good. You know, I say I hate this fight, this fight, but it's really not that bad, actually. I mean, in a way, it's almost kind of fun, but I think that's just because it's Ascension. It's kind of fun a bit, you know. Okay, I was wondering if I had to do anything or not. I don't know if Caster is actually based on a real guy or not. I don't know if that's a thing. Oh yeah, punch the living fucking young out of him. Come on, come on, break out of it. There we go. I think he's. I'm not sure if he's actually dead or not. Like, full on, like, dead. Ugh. The way- the reason why I don't like the parry stuff is because, like, you have to do it a, a very specific thing. Like, you can't just be, like, holding block. I mean, you can hold block and then parry, right? But, like, you can't always parry everything in that combo. You know, you can't, like, multi-parry much. Well, you probably could, but you gotta, like, let go of, well, of course it's a parry, that's how it works. I don't know. Whatever I'm trying to say doesn't make any sense, no matter what the fuck I try to say it as. It's basically, I just, not a fan of the parry system as much. I miss old parry stuff. And it's not because, like, it's easier. It's just this one's kind of weird. That's all. It's one of those, like, you kind of have to, like, feel it to kind of understand what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. What an asshole. What an actual fucking bitch. Like an actual fucking dick. What are you gonna do, big guy? You're gonna do shit now. Yeah, you're done for. Alright, cool. Time to die. Doesn't he realize that Kratos actually has the magic power of quick time events to, on his side to help him win these fights? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna rip off this fucking boil you got on your body. <laughs> Ew. Ain't that fucking gruesome? Yeah. Got his ass. Oh yeah, we're not done. Hey, this looks familiar. Like a certain other game that did this shit too. Damn. Just one stomp, he's out. Now for your brother. Whatever this is, it's mine. So, for the Oracle Elithea uh, by the Prophet Caster, this amulet's gem can show the life and death of an object. Amulet of Urlobodos. Urlobodos. So, yeah, basically, it does what you think it would do. It, it's pretty much just time manipulation shit like but I guess the way they do kind of describe it does make more sense like life and death type thing which 
I, th I would argue makes more sense. Yeah. Basically, you hold L2 and then you hit square, and then you can heal or decay or whatever. Yeah, it's right stick. That's right. And then like. The time will kind of like slow down for a bit to kind of give you an idea of. Yeah, you can stop it there. But of course, um, there's going to come a point where some things have to be stopped at a certain point, and then. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. It's relatively straightforward. And then, yes, this is actually a combat mechanic you can use, too. You can actually use this in combat situations. Pretty cool, huh? Come on, let me fucking- I already know! Let me get up there! You already showed me that was like the waypoint anyway, so why not fucking let me get up there? Actually, what's over here first? Nothing? Huh, okay. You never know. Might as well check, I guess. Doesn't hurt. Is it Alethea or is it Alethea? I don't know. <laughs> God damn, she's got some fucking cleavage on her. Jesus Christ. You can see that shit from space. Sorry, my neck hurts. The truth always comes with a price. Enemies. That's a cool looking uh Kratos shot right there, I think. I think now we're probably potentially at the halfway point. It cannot be undone. The Furies infect your mind because you run from your oath to Ares. They will stop at nothing should you resist. So the shade speaks the truth. The intentions of Orcos are pure. Orcos? But he is a fury. And he will play his part in time. Me. Yeah. Sorry, I ain't got much to say. <laughs> I'm actually out of commentary for once. It's actually one of the rare times where I feel like Kratos actually gives a shit about somebody. You know, besides, like, the obvious. And of course, you know, in later games, like, you know, 4 and 5, what have you, yeah. God, that must be a pain in the ass of a hairstyle, or even like a hat, crown thing to actually put on. Like, every day. Okay, so it looks like we're pretty much good to go. I guess I'll do some climbing a bit, and then we'll call it there. There's everything over here. I don't think I've ever been over this way before. Yeah, cool, all right. Gives me a... Uh, gotta wear one flashback with the Muse keys, you know? Kind of almost looks like an Uncharted 1 area. Not gonna lie. It's the greenery, because Uncharted 1 is just fucking green. Uncharted 2 is like blue and white, and then Uncharted 3 is like fucking brown and uh, yellow. It's desert. Yeah, Uncharted 1 would be more like brown and green, I guess. But yeah, so let's see. I can make a quick upgrade real quick. The game's already saving anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I can't fully upgrade this, but. Eh. Should I even bother upgrading this one? 
Actually, if anything, hold on. Let's upgrade Hades. So now we got Tormenting Soul. Uh, I do want to get at least the Rage version soon. Let's go ahead and show off, I guess, the L1 Square variant. There you go. Pretty cute. Actually, that is kind of cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> God damn it. I, I want to keep playing, man. I want to keep fucking playing, man. But I know I gotta probably stop the video here because if I keep going, it's gonna go on forever. But yeah, that'll be it for this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. See y'all next time. As always, take care, everybody.